is that animal? What is that? What? Right, this is really funny. You can hear Chelsea Walsh hill climb in the background, right? I'm a little bit into big cats in the wild. You know, big cats in Britain, alien big cats and whatnot. And I've just watched in this field here. Can you see the line going up this field? There, right? up to that copse of trees. I just watched a black animal walk all the way up the field. Oh, it's on its own and it's gone up into those, it's gone up into here. Right. I filmed it, so I'll edit the footage in, but I kind of like, I don't really know what I'm looking at. But I'm just wondering if it's gonna pop up anywhere because it must have been going from somewhere to somewhere, but he was just walking along the top of this field here in Worcestershire. I was wondering where it's... Uh... That's bizarre, because it wasn't... It's jet black. It's not small. There it is, I can see it. I can see it, it just, it just walked up that field. Did you see that on the camera? It just walked up there. What is it? Oh, I'm going to even knock it or anything. <laughs> this is an exciting way to spend the Sunday. It's gone up that field now. How can I get up there? <laughs> Popped out for a little drive in the Renault because it's sunny. I've got a big cat sighting. I mean, I can't exactly sneak up on it in this. It's like the noisiest car in the world. Um, but hey, sunshine. What do you reckon? First time in ages. Amazing how much better it makes you feel, isn't it? Just a little bit of blue sky and a little bit of sunshine and a brighter morning. Dived out of bed like anything. I was like, right, that's it. Today's the day. And you look on the weather app and it's only meant to last for the next hour or so but i don't know what that's all about right i've actually got i've got my boots with me look i've got my boots so i'm gonna go walk down there and see if <laughs> i'm gonna go see if i can find any prints on it's that line there that went up the field so i'm gonna go have a look see what i can find so i'll take you with me um yeah let's go, let's go and see if we can track a big cat in worcestershire shire all right, so I walked down the hill. You can see my car parked up on the top of the hill there. There's two fields that are split by this stream. So the footpath, sign for footpath there, but we need to go over to this field here. And we basically need to track down the edge of this field to go and get to that sort of cutting up the field, which is where I saw this mystery animal, so I'm going to take a stroll down this field and um, see how much mud there is at the bottom. Okay, getting closer to the bottom of the field now. Any minute now, we'll be able to see my Reno. There it is, up there. So we're almost at the straight through cutting that goes up this field and the ground is very wet so if there are <laughs> if there are any prints or anything we'll see them it's a bit like the microsoft screen saver here isn't it you know, the famous microsoft uh, wallpaper very wet just keeping an eye out for well anything really this <laughs> is quite funny Big cats have always been a bit of an obsession, fascination of mine since I was a kid. So to actually see something odd whilst that one about is, uh, yeah, pretty funny in my book. I'm walking on the track to track so as I don't ruin any crops. Right, coming up to the cut through here. It's getting muddier as we go down the bottom of this field. I'm going to take this higher route just here on the right. And 
that puts us on the cut through which the animal took up the field. It's a bit windy. It's got to be further in here somewhere, isn't it? I think I can see it. A little bird there. A lot of moss. Oh yeah, here's the cut through here. Wow, the grass is fairly high as well. So it's not a, it's not a small animal. This is the path that it took. Take a quick look for some prints down here. See if there's anything at all. Because it would have come through here, which is quite muddy. And there's no walkers around. There are footprints there. Of course, it doesn't necessarily come from here, but maybe it did. Um, there. Is that? That's a print. I mean, could this be a dog print? <laughs> That's quite big, isn't it? Just go back this way, see if there's anything else that I can pick up. Maybe it was having a drink here. Right, let's go up to the top. That is interesting. I mean, you've got multiple prints here anyway. Is that badger? And then you've got claws out. So there's all sorts of prints here, but that one's quite distinct. And there. And if that is it, like if it's this one, and then that one, well, that's quite a stride. Let's keep going as this aeroplane goes over. I don't know where it went through here. That's the wettest bit. I didn't see it until it was right at the top of the field and it's a lot drier up here. So it's a lot harder to find anything. Oh, I've just sent the footage to uh, Tim, who's the man who produced a film about big cats in the UK, and he's just texted me back, so let me take a look at that. <laughs> right, I've got news from Tim. Firstly, he's annoyed that I've woken him up on a Sunday. Secondly, he said, can I use that in a press release? Because he's pretty confident that it's a cat, which is hilarious. There's my car over there. Right, let's work our way back up this field and see if there's anything else. Apologies for the wind noise on this video. I had no intention of filming anything today. I didn't even bring a hat with me. But this, look, if that, if that was a small cat, right? Look how high this is. If that was a small cat, you wouldn't really have seen it on the video. That's quite a large cat. Because there's no dog walkers, there's no one. It's early in the morning, no one's around. No one at all. It went straight up here. Towards the, uh, I watched it disappear up here. No prints here, because the ground's uh, harder. this way through here not seeing anything on the floor of any note and then through here Nothing, nothing there really. 
Right, there are some walkers over there now with a dog. So they've got two dogs and their dogs are quite close to them. So it's not like you could say it was their dog because I then watched whatever it was go off through here into these bushes because I saw where it went next. We'll just go a little bit further down and see if we can uh, just pick up any, any extra prints. Or scat, you know? I've been watching these YouTube videos about big cats. Yeah, scat. Gotta look for cat poo when you're out and about. So. Just go down into this. Oh, there's a little pool here, look. See the pool at the bottom? My car is now all the way over there. See some cyclists going past it. People wondering why my car's been abandoned over there. Um, go a little further. There's a little, a little duck in the pond there, look. Right. Got a footprint, so this is obviously, it is part of a footpath. Uh, lots of boot prints. Just seeing if there's anything. Foot. Nothing else to speak about. Not seeing anything here. The wind's dropped down here though, which is nice. Again, the ground's a little harder. So there's not really anything to see. Where did I see it go? Going into this little wooded bit now. Just checking for anything at all around here. It's muddier here. <laughs> Paranoid now. <laughs> no, I'm sure I saw... I wonder if I saw it walk off up here. So, prints here, look. This isn't dog walker territory, because this looks like private land. You wouldn't walk your dog up there, because this is off the path. You'd go further afield. <laughs> See what I did there? There's no prints in there. No footprints, but you have got these prints here, look. Got a distinct claw mark there. Where did it go? This is the weirdest Jeff video ever, isn't it? <laughs> what am I doing? Unless it walked down the middle. Which it would have done, because it wouldn't have wanted to get its feet wet. Would it? Because cats don't really like water. Not really, see not really seeing anything. Unless it went that way and tracked along the bottom of the field down there. because I'm not seeing any, any prints here. I'm not seeing any prints to tell me that it went up that hill. And I don't think that's what I saw when I saw it move either. 
when I zoomed my camera on it. I felt like it was in a more open area. That's not very open. There's nothing here. So, did it actually go this way? I think it did, you know. I think this looks more like it. Can I see my Renault from here? No, right, I can't see my car from here. So I must have been a bit higher. And did I see it go this way? <laughs> Could be dog. But there's not many boot prints here, as I said. Apart from mine, down in the bottom of this field. Let's go a little bit further on. Ah, here we go. I think I saw it go through here. I think that's where I saw it. And I can just see my car there. So I think I watched it go through here and then I saw it between these trees. It stopped near this fence. It went this way. So, is there anything here? Yeah, there's a print there, look. I'm not sure on that one. And there. More prints there. And then it gets muddier through here, look. Yeah, so it is a footpath. Anything there. Look at that. That's a good one, isn't it? And there, maybe? Is that the freshest one? <laughs> wow, look at that one. <laughs> look at the claws. So there's a little pool there. And then, so, <laughs> I mean, that's the best one, isn't it? That is phenomenal. So where's the next one? Where's its next track from there? Is that it? Possibly. Um, Cause it's gone directly up the middle here. Oh, those are the wettest bits. It dries up a bit here, but there's a distinct one there, look. There's another one, and that's not small either. It's pretty well spread out, isn't it? Pretty well spread out, that. And then there. One, two, three, four, claws, pad. Yeah, I saw it here. That's where it went next. Fascinating. Any more? Just scanning around now quietly. See if I can see any evidence of anything else. I'm gonna to have to head back in a minute. What's this here? That's it going the, yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four, claws, pad, maybe. I've never done this before, by the way. Always wanted to. So, I think from there, well, it's gone somewhere, hasn't it? Up here. Here we go. It's gone up into here. 
it's gone under the fence maybe. See, I thought I saw it like sat staring back. There, again, that's the same print. So it has gone this way. And then up into here, and then I think that's where I lost it. In this field somewhere. This is where I last saw it. So it's long gone now. Off up into there. <laughs> Isn't it fascinating? Right, there's a little path that goes through here, look. Clearly. I don't know if it's anyone's guess from there. Absolutely fascinating. I can just see a walker up there, look. So, I should head back and retrieve my car, really. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'll come back here again. Very interesting. Right, thank you very much everybody for watching this little tour of Worcestershire Shire. If I see anything else, I'll let you know. Right, I've just come back through the gate and I'm on my way back now. I think this is the best one. Pad, one, two, three, four, claws. It's not the widest. It's not huge, huge. But it's pretty distinct and it's very spread out. And cats pop their claws out when they're on slippy ground. Dogs don't dog's claws are always out and this print here there's less claws on so we go from here to here so is this I don't know I'm not going to pretend to know um, where's the, it's a shame there's no next one from there like larger ones but interestingly I've, I've got the same tracks going back the other way so Perhaps, um, if I get my boots out of the way, where did it go? Where's the next one from here? <laughs> right, go on, back to the Renault before we get eaten. by a big cat. I can't help myself. I can't. I want to do more. I want to know more. I want to know what I saw. So did it go? There you go, look, it went directly through here. So it followed that track through there, staying to the left, which means if it was staying to the left, there should be a track along here somewhere, because I think it stayed this side on this path. Not really anything there, is there? No. Too dry, too dry. Well, that's interesting. So I, I used my tracking skills and realized that it didn't go that way. I think that's where I last saw it, there. It stood there and it looked at me. You see my Renault up there somewhere.
Yeah, because I would have had a higher vantage point. So I would have been back there. Where is it, Rene? Yeah. <laughs> right, that'll do. I'm going home. Thanks, everyone. Right, I'm way back now. You can see my car up there in the top corner. Um, I am going to go back this way because there is a path that goes up that field. And as I first saw this animal, another print there, look. As I first saw this animal when it was at the top of this field, I'm going to work my way back here and see if I can find anything that I missed the first time around. There is a quite that's a track in there, isn't it? Again, this, this damp bit here. And let me just clarify again. There was no one around when I filmed that footage. There's no one in the fields. There's no dog walkers. So if it came through here, Just gonna get a photo of these. See, these look like wide prints to me. They don't look like dog prints. And I don't think a dog walker would come down this way, as I've said. It's not really a dog walky field. You'd go at the top or you'd follow the other footpath. Alright, so just snap some photos with my car keys and stuff in that little wet bit there. There's nothing here apart from that. That perhaps a little footprint there. Can't see anything else. But if that is, then that means it did go this way, as I suspect. So it went this way. So we see if there's anything. I mean, it looks pretty dry up here to me. Apart from the, you've got the stream down here. Um, just checking for anything, any extra prints or anything like that. Wet bit here. Oh, quite wet. got here here we go yeah there's a print there that's probably my boot there definitely gonna be worth a visit back here isn't it what we got here is that a boot or a tire track there right softer ground here stream running through see my car up there did it come down here Again, quite distinct prints there, look. <laughs> There's no footprints. Like I said, this was not a dog because there was no dog walker with it. Although that's interesting, but that, 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 I don't think that's me, that boot print there. So it went up through there where I saw it at the top by the fence. I suspect this ground is now going to get quite dry. But again, there's prints in here, look. Quite distinct, isn't it? Print there. I'm trying to turn the camera around so the print's at the top of the camera. But you can see... That print looks a bit more doggy. But let's just carry on up to the top of the field. I'll be very curious here to talk to the farmer and find out if he's ever seen anything untoward in his field. But yeah, uh, my friend Tim, who is the producer and journalist and has done a lot of work with big cat stuff, he contacted me via the Jeff stuff because he knows I'm interested in big cats. So I... Um, yeah, the farmer's up there in a tractor. So I sent the footage to him this morning and he's very excited.
nothing obvious. Maybe it didn't come this way then. Maybe it, maybe it came from down the bottom and then went up through there. Better get out of here before I get germicide by the farmer. Yeah, much drier here, so much harder to spot anything. Wow, did you watch the whole video? Let me know what you thought in the comments. Because as I say, this is, this is, it's not quite knee high grass, but it's getting closer to my knees. And that cat was above that. So it's big enough that I could see it from quite some distance. So, draw your own conclusions, I guess. Thanks for watching. Sorry, sorry, I keep trying to conclude this video. Right, see my car over there? And this is the gateway, and you can see, if you follow it through here, there's a print there. Wow, it looks even better on camera than in real life. And then it goes through here. And you can see, as you go further on, oh, look at that one. It goes all the way through down to where I saw it. Cool, whatever he's spraying on that field stinks. Anyway, let's get out of here. Right, thank you very much everybody for watching. Um, sorry I didn't get eaten live on camera. Right then, that's that, that is the end of the video. So, I started my walk down there. I then went, very windy, across the bottom of the field, down there, to the cutting that goes up that next field, which you can see there. I then went over that fence, and down the back. Then I came back up this field to my car. Now I've got to go because my wife says I've got to buy some eggs from the shop on my way back. Wow, exciting stuff today in Worcestershire Shire. You're right there, Jeff. How you doing? Tim Whitard here, big cat researcher and, and filmmaker. Uh, first off, I just wanted to say thanks for sharing that video. Absolutely awesome to have such an organic sighting. And, you know, you know, we talked about it on and off, big cats, but for you to have your own experience, is, I think, is, is, is cool. So thanks for sharing it with us. I have um, had some of my colleagues look over it. And whilst we can't definitively say it was a big cat, you know, the possibility remains on the table. It absolutely could have been a big cat. Um, the unfortunate thing is that with the tracks that you photographed, though, um, I've passed those around as well. And Rhoda Watkins, who's, who's probably, you know, one of the best animal trackers in Britain at the moment, she is of the opinion they're dog tracks more likely than anything else. So whilst the tracks do not, um, you know, yield po positive proof, the sighting, it, it still could be, you know, it, the video of, of, of the sighting itself, um, very organic, very natural, and, and we can't rule out cat. So, yeah, very exciting, Jeff. Um, it'd be great to talk with you a bit more on this in the very, very near future. I would just add as well that anyone wanting to sort of brush up on, on the difference between big cat tracks and, and, and dog tracks and the subtleties um, and, and, and different methods for tracking, there's some great stuff in our, in our documentary, Pantera Britannia Declassified, which is available to buy and rent on Amazon um and itunes i believe so <laughs> give that a cheeky plug but jokes aside there is some really really cool stuff in there if people are interested in learning about how to track these animals and you know um what to look for some of the the, the field signs and and evidence that they can they can potentially find it's all in there boy